Hello everybody, let's see what I've got patched up today. Grids is in control as my usual MO. Channels 1 and 3 are triggering Bastel T Kick and 2 HP Hat, respectively. Channel 2 is going up here to Pip Slope to trigger that little decay envelope which is going down here to the sag input of the chaos NAND. Uh, the reset is just dangling here so I can use it to sync up my channels on the quad clock which is being sent the grids clock so I can use it to synchronize other things to that tempo. The accent out is going over here and is connected to Dresno to use as the sample clock. And Dresno is sampling a modulation signal coming from Vector Space. Vector Space is receiving two free running LFOs, the two slowest ones on this EMW triple LFO uh, and also vector space is getting the lifeforms digital LFO which can be synced to tempo so it is running at the same rate as that first channel of the quad clock which is the grids clock divided by six which gives you let's see a 24 pulses per then divided by six gives you co uh, what would that be 16th notes I think technically 16th notes anyway it's a, it's the useful division that I kind of stumbled upon so divide by six the grids clock and you get a useful clock uh, and you can run grids at 24, which is, I think it sounds the best at that resolution. However, I am rambling. Uh, I had Dresno. I was talking about one of these gates from the Dresno is being attenuated, and I'm using it to shift the pitch of oscillator 2 on the Chaos NAND. One of the other Dresno gates I'm using to control the decay time of hat. And my three percussion sounds are going through this homemade mixer right here, which I built specifically for the three channels of grids. And that output is going to this channel of the mixology. And you just heard the Chaos Nand tone change when that gate flipped from on to off. A little bit of variation there. Now the one more gate coming out of Dresno is going up here to clock the Penta, which the output from there is going into the, uh, the quantizer. And that's going to pitch control volts per octave input on Lifeform's oscillator 1. Using the internal patch, uh, filter cutoff is actually being controlled by vector space. But everything else, I'm using the internal patch, which sends the low pass output from the filter to the VCA and the VCA is controlled by the envelope. I'm triggering that envelope with a Euclidean pattern generated by Basta Little Nerd, clocked of course by that same divided by six clock. And that's sounding like this. Okay, now there are other outputs 
that I can use. I can use all of the other outputs from that filter. So I'm taking the bandpass. It's going through channel one of shades just so I would have a way to turn it down. And then that is going from there to the input of the microburst. Microburst, let's see the grain size and texture are being controlled by a couple of modulation signals on the vector space and the trigger is receiving another uh, Euclidean pattern and I have the pitch knob adjusted so that it shifts the pitch an octave up and I turn this up algorithm has lots of uses. I'm using it now as a octave shift and a like a stereo VCA. It's pretty handy. Now then over here plats in the fourth green mode. I can't remember what they're called but it's the fourth green mode. Uh, the timbre and morph are being controlled from vector space and pitch it is receiving pitch information from key step I'm using both outputs the main and the augs they have diff slightly different sounds and they're both going through bustle skis one channel is another Euclidean pattern and the other channel is just a steady clock. Both of those outputs are going through the Pico VCA because the two channels here can share one CV. I'm controlling them both with this one envelope generator that's being gated from here. So it should open up that VCA when I play a key. Sure enough. And if I alter the decay time on skis, change the flavor Anyway, there you go. That's what I had patched up today. I'm not going to tell you how long I sat here monkeying with that. Uh, it didn't take as long as it would have four months ago. I think I'm getting quicker at putting these things together. I just don't know if I'm becoming predictable or what. I haven't bought any new modules in it feels like a while now and I've, I've got the itch man I've got the itch for a new piece but I'm not sure where to put it and besides which it's been kind of nice having money instead of spending it all on modular stuff but I do have to thank my Patreon patrons because uh, uh, that money I used to buy all of this most of it came from them. And um, 
I mean, you know, there's still stuff to pay for. So if you're interested in becoming a patron, I totally encourage you to do that. I'll put the link on the screen. It is also in the description below. I have a Bandcamp page too, where some of my music winds up. And um, of course, you should like and subscribe if you found this interesting. I've got loads more on my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.